Uh, See, you that's... did the podcast with butt plugs in? Well, like, I was kind of like, it was between my cheeks and... <laughs> Subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio on YouTube. Bang. How you What's doing, up, buddy? Man? How you doing? I'm doing good. Are you, uh, not? Are you hurting? No, nah, I mean, a little bit. I'm just fucking dragging. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> well, I mean, Bert was with you, right? So. Dude, you should see him. You should see him. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you're still like surprised by it. I mean, because even by his standards, it was crazy. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. He, he was really lit last night. It's <laughs> so funny that he still does it. I love it. He was fucking. Were, were you guys at like a like a bar or like a private like a? We went to a place, a private, you know, dinner. But like he, after we had already been, like he, we arrived. He was already there, so I told him where to meet us. Uh huh. And he was like, hey. He looked like he'd been drinking. And <laughs> Look, guess what he had? He, to himself, from that point, he drank four bottles of wine. <laughs> He's the best. He's the yeah. best, man. So when we asked him uh, we go, how much have you drank, he go, he, his answer was all day. Yeah. All day. Yeah. He goes, I've been drinking all day. Like, That's what's, unreal. He, what's he been doing here so long? Because we interviewed him like last week. It was, yeah, it's been, it's it was that, week. It was that he... It was spread out, so we had like a gig out of town, like you know, Poughkeepsie or something. And then he's like, "I have a days off," but then I'm he's in Brooklyn tonight, Albany, I think Friday or Saturday. So he's like, just instead of going back, back to LA, LA yeah, yeah. he's like, "I'll just stay in the area and, and do like 19 podcasts." And he's like trying to get me to do all of them. I'm like, "I'm not you. <laughs> like, I don't want to do them all." <laughs> Dude, he was on. He was on. Are you garbage? And Bro. and he just pulled a toothbrush out of his you pocket. See that? He had a toothbrush it's in his pocket. It's one of the most insane things he I've stole ever seen it from the Delta lounge or the whatever the the, the lounge. He, he also did. told me he's he like had... he doesn't brush his teeth every day. Yeah, yeah. well, just you don't brush your teeth every day. Yes, I do. You said you said you don't do I don't it twice brush at night. Yeah, but that's not crazy brush your too. teeth. No, it's not. It's not. Dude, it's not it's brushing way different at night. Not brush at all. Not brushing your teeth at period. Why don't you brush them at night? It's just like I'm going to sleep. They're gonna get gross. <laughs> He's gonna wake up in the morning and brush him. <laughs> yo, you guys are, are are off on this. There's why, a lot more people who don't brush wipe at your night. ass. It's gonna be gross. <laughs> no, no, no. But you're going to sleep. Yeah, but, but yeah, but like that's let like, it all sit in there, all rot, and then I just fucking clean it up. Clean it up. But you do that even like on like on purpose. <laughs> it's, it's not like on purpose. It's just like if I'm going to bed, I'm just, sometimes I'll just go to bed. It's like but, if I'm there, I'll do it. If I, but what if you like have a taste? You don't know. That yeah, it, like okay. if, if it's if it's bothering me, yeah, I will clean it up. Lake or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if it's just like a regular night, nah. you fucking sad. How what? Yeah, yeah dude. I, I, I'm telling you, you're both night. wrong. And I bet you, if you ask more, well, the thing is, what, what people, percentage people of don't nights get? Do you brush your teeth before bed? Uh, I would say two point five out of seven. Two? Oh, like oh, three, oh, three oh, okay. out of seven. I think saying two point five percent of nights. As no, a no, no, no. Okay, like, so yeah. half. Yeah, close to half. I I bet you more people. <laughs> if people were willing to be honest, which they're not, so you can never fucking do these polls and shit, you would find out that more people don't brush their teeth at night. Dude, night. I'm I'm like pretty close to seven for seven. If I get shit faced, no. But yeah, yeah, but you being on your high horse about anything remotely like hygienic or anything is crazy. Dude, I'm fucking hygienic as shit. He'll brush his teeth at night, but he'll wake up like with a fucking uh, melted chocolate bar in his mouth or on his ass or you know crazy shit like that. Yeah, I mean, so I'm, it's like shut the fuck uh, up. That's like drug addict behavior. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dude, yeah. Dude, yeah, I, he'll I brush his no, teeth and then he'll wake up with Sour Patch Kids Joey, in his mouth. Joey Diaz told me he ate he ate like a. 2,000 milligram thing. He's like, it wasn't good. I woke up with M&M's in my mouth. And he goes, M&M's in my CPAP. You know, he's got the fucking mask on. There's M&M's in there. I will mask is something special right I woke there. up with Tums in my mouth the other day. Like, tums, I don't know if you know the new Tums, the ones that are like, oh, you know, the, the new, they drop new Tums, <laughs> yeah. the new release. You, you woke up with Tums in tums your mouth? in my mouth. So this mouth guy is talking tums. shit to me. But it's like, crazy. It was, they were like, they were like the, the new ones, the hard shells that you got to sit <laughs> You gotta let them like sit in your mouth a little bit before you can chew because they're really hard. You just gotta go, bro, Mike. <laughs> and, 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 and I just woke up and they were like they were nice. They were perfectly melted, to be honest. Like it was like a real nice soft. <laughs> Dude, he, he'll wake up and like uh, the freezer's open, drawers are open. There's yeah. an empty ice cream thing, and he doesn't like remember. But I brushed it. my teeth before, so. but you brushed these. Yeah, but that, high and everything he did is on accident. Yeah, that's true. I was unconscious. <laughs> there, it. it sounds like there are nights where you're like, I'm just going to bed. There are so many it. nights where I do that. And I have every no time, problem with that, that is a really good point. Yeah. Yeah. I have, I have every no... time I go to sleep without brushing my teeth, it's because I didn't know I was going to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I I don't think it's as big of a deal as you guys are making. It. Yo, you uh, you let it rip on Twitter the other day. 
Yeah, you yeah. went in, you went you went in on that one, huh? I mean, you know, I <laughs> this bitch been bald. I, look, I think it's crazier that people think what I said is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. I mean, I'm like, it's you know, it was. Um, I I actually feel like what's crazy is that more people, more people, aren't actually writing similar things because yeah. it's wild to witness that whole thing. Well, yeah. we we looked it up yesterday. Well, uh, Stefano was in, and we looked it up like a New York Times poll or something like that. Fifty-two percent of America on on his side is on his side. Okay, wait, who's side? Which which uh, on, on Will's? Side. Yeah, okay. Being like you're defending your. It's like what? Is, <laughs> he said it best. He's like, what is this? Like chival- like medieval times where you have to like defend your well, lady. Like, we had, what we, fuck are we talking. We about? talked about it. Did, I mean, I know I feel like it's a, a tired topic already. Yeah. You know, everybody's, but like, there's a big difference between like you're at dinner with your girl and somebody walks right. up to you. <laughs> Says something right. and you're like, "What the fuck did you say?" Right. That's different Versus than being a like, "I am at a sh- Hollywood superstar. I'm at a show. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you're just watching. And you're like, "I didn't really like that joke. I'm gonna go hit him." Yeah, like, it's right. it's, it's the os. It's fucking wild. It's, most, it's the <laughs> one. You know? It's the craziest thing actually, since Ron Artest. The, the, yeah, the best way to really put an end to the whole argument is if it wasn't someone who you really like, like Will Smith or someone big you would be like, that is fucking ridiculous. Oh, my God. So the only reason you're even considering arguing against this is because it's someone special. Because no if doubt. it was just like a Usher or something, you'd be like... No doubt. So, so if, it was, kind of jail, if it was a... You know? Wait, if mid-tier. Usher? Are you saying if Usher uh, hit Chris <laughs> Rock? <laughs> yeah, if it was a mid-tier guy, if a like mid-tier you're out guy, of Hollywood forever. And that's, so done. that's the end of the argument right done. there. And they also would have been drug out by his neck. Right, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the I Academy like, was like, we asked him to leave. That's hilarious. And then, and then, they did. I do like, <laughs> I do like the conversation about how big a star you have to be, yeah. to do that. To be able to do that, it's I a mean, short it's list. Man. It is a short list. It is Will, like Tom Cruise, Denzel, DiCaprio, Hanks, Hanks. Bra- First yeah. of all, if, if, if Tom, Hanks, Tom Hanks, Hanks ever did it, people oh. would have been like, oh. "Yeah." Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But, but it's mean, like yeah, to, it's to a really a, small list. There's, yeah. there's a. Um, I remember there's, a, there's an article in GQ where uh, Brad Pitt described himself as a gazelle, mm-hmm. and he said and they asked him. They said, "How many other gazelles?" Because he's like, he's like, "We're in the open plains and lions are watching us." It was something over the top. But and then they were like, "How many gazelles are there in Hollywood?" And he's like, "There are like maybe five of us," which is crazy. And it's probably a that. little low, seeing as what you just listed. They're all yeah. gazelles, but, but he's one. Yeah, he's on that list. That's gazelle. how he described that level of yeah, yeah. of uh, fame. Yeah. yeah. I'm a gazelle. a gazelle. I'm a gazelle. Which was so cocky. That's pretty tight. It was yeah, so, dude. and then to be like, to, they asked him and he kind of pauses and, you know, it's like, there's like, you know, five. It's like, because you can actually think in his head, uh, like me and my few buddies. That's it. That's fucking dope. It is. He came to my show uh, last month. Really? In LA. Oh, yeah. yeah you had yeah. pictures with oh, him too. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, first of all, like you are trying to, he does a good job of, I think really famous people who obviously know they have an effect on a room. Yeah. You know, some of them, the some of them, obviously maybe don't care to make you feel normal, but he 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 makes the effort. He's like, ah, oh, I'm so excited to be I'm such a big fan. And I'm like, right. Yeah. And does that fuck you up when you're on stage knowing that Brad Pitt's out there? <laughs> no, because he did such a good job making before, you like, yeah. before. So then he's yeah. like talking about it, and then at one point. We're just like he's asking. He's like, "This is what you do before the show? You just like because basketball? You just watch basketball, listen to music?" And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> and he's like, "You don't have to prepare." I'm like, "I'm prepared." <laughs> and, and I'm good, dude. I was like, "I've been on tour for six months. I'm prepared." <laughs> and he's like, "He's like, oh, okay." Mm-hmm. And you know, then we're just shooting the shit, and then he's like, "All right, I'm gonna go out there." And so I have the security that I brought escort him. Right? Is this and, in L.A.? In L.A. Yeah. And so he has a bucket hat on. And and his hair is up in it, right? And so you, you see that. And then I go, I go, yeah, man. I go, can you go anywhere? And he goes, check this out. And he reaches in, and he has like an oversized mask. So he puts it, it on. The whole thing. You see this, and then the hat's here, and the hair's up here. And I was like, you he never goes, ever know. And I'm like, holy shit, wow. like none. And then Ryan Sickler goes, it looks like Chad Pitt. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean the mask shit for them must have been the best thing that's ever happened. This dude, he was he went to he sat through the whole show. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. After the show, he comes back, wow. super gracious, hangs out a little bit, and then he goes, "We're going to another show. We're going to go to see uh, some uh, whatever, some music thing." And 
And I was like, cool. And, and I was like, oh yeah, he can do this now. Yeah. Like, and especially right now. He wants yeah. this shit to keep going. Oh, I feel like I feel like he'll be able to do that forever. Because I, I don't think anyone's gonna think it's like there will always yeah. be someone who's in a mask. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, it won't be like... just be Japanese people. Yeah. It'll be yeah. like yeah. somebody will always <laughs> be like it'll be like it won't be like what you'll just it'll be like seven years from now. And you'll be like you can really knock it off, man, you know. But there'll always be people One that are person. like, yeah. yeah. Was he solo? No. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, but he. Um, yeah, it is wild. I think to. Be around someone, and I and I did think during that Oscar shit, I was like, oh yeah, he, he could be somebody if they were like leave. He'd be like, no, no, no. I'm gonna yeah. eat pizza here, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I can my, take my, my dick Domino's out right is on now. the way. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bring anyone and then also, it. can you imagine also the people who they send to ask you to leave at that are so intimidated? Yeah, I'm I mean, sure they're like, like can you I, please maybe consider? I asked, I I asked Leonardo DiCaprio to leave, yeah. and, and he was like. He yourself. shrugged. Yeah, and then <laughs> I bet you there's certain guys who wouldn't even like acknowledge. Yeah, I was gonna say, what do you do? Like, he pretended who he couldn't is this hear me. I was yelling about? in his face. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you have you have to send like the rock to be like, look, like, I'm yeah. I'll pick you up. Some guy yeah. doesn't You're, give a fuck. You are. Me. I will physically remove you from here because oh, yeah. no one else can. I know it's it's a beautiful thing to see. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've had a couple uh, security people we brought to shows and like to to see them like bring like remove somebody physically that doesn't want to leave it's great it's great yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. you sit there and like enjoy it oh i just stop and i watch yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. causing a scene do you point them out or do they, they no it's always something i don't i don't even know, know what's happening yeah you're just like what's happening it happen like, consistently oh. no it doesn't yeah. happen that i mean i think it like as you do you know rock shows else. it happens yeah. a lot yeah some yeah. of the big venues sometimes I'll, I'll be like that was a great show and they're like you know we threw 17 people out and I'm like what <laughs> wow really? there was a we did one show a couple of weeks ago and they were like did you see like some lady barfed and then oh yeah spilled like and there's a, all sorts of nonsense that's going on and we had no idea we had a show at the Wilbur yeah. and uh, afterwards this guy said this dude came down to the front where his, his friends were sitting sat down with them ordered a round of tequila shots on their tab did the tequila <laughs> Threw up in a cup and walked away. <laughs> and I was like, "That that's a Will Smith no. move right there. Yeah, that's like, a gazelle, dude. Left, that's a left left cup of his puke on a stranger's table." Oof. And just last time I did the Wilbur uh, it was a few years ago. They go, we threw out this guy who was in the up, like the upper balcony part, the the yeah. upstairs, whatever higher up. Yeah, yeah. Um, or maybe it was the other one. Maybe it was at the Shavai. It was in Boston. And I go, "Why you throw him out?" And they go, he pissed in the aisle. <laughs> and I'm like, no. And they're like, he got up, just stood up, pissed. <laughs> the piss runs down because no. it's down the balcony. Shit. And then he sat down, and we were like, you can't be here, man. <laughs> like I kind of like that shit happening. Yeah. Now. Like, yeah. I kind of want that to happen at our shows a little bit. I don't Dude, know. It's, it's that like... was, we had the other kid I saw at a bar afterwards who he had screamed during the second show. And oh, like, yeah. it like derailed us. We're like, whoa, what the fuck was that? And he's like, he's like, yeah, bro, security sucks. After I did that, they came over and were like, you can't be screaming. And I was like, they would want this. I was like, we, no, definitely we don't know. want that. We, we no one ever want wants it, man. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> by the way, are... that would be some baller shit. If somebody in the Oscars stood up and took a piss in their seat <laughs> and then sat down and was like, <laughs> what are we gonna do? What's we up? got Kanye at the Grammys coming up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, this he might plant. He might feel like he needs to upstage. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Like, like you think that was cool? Yeah. Or... <laughs> no one's talking about me right now. Yeah. Uh, what, are you just gonna tour until like you're dead, dude? This this door this door is obscene. Was this just are, are something? Are you like Walter White? You got to get all the money in before you die or something? Because this his fault. This I mean it's it's, it's disgusting. Yeah, uh, it is. Disgusting. It's a perfect name for the tour. It's hilarious, but it's also like on point. I mean it. You can't even read the font when you post your fucking promos, dude. I know it's gonna. You know I try to look at it. I try to go look at it like week to week. Like I only I'm I'm only thinking about this week right now. Yeah. Because if you think about. The whole thing, the legs, third a, leg. It, it looks like th the uh, third leg looks like a worldwide tour in its own it's right. It's crazy. insane. <laughs> and then uh, people have told me they're like, "So you're gonna take time off after this, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would never yeah. do it again, like forcibly." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, yeah no, I mean, uh, was, whatever. Is it just that you know you feel like you're at your peak and you just want to fucking? Rock? No, it happened honestly, like kind of. It happened, and then I didn't realize where we were at with it. This Until it's already, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he told me he's like, I got a jet ski. I'm buying this. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so he, um, no, it's it's just one of those things. Where, like by the time it was like booked, you're still only 
you know, when you tour, you're like, where am I going this month? Mm, yeah. You start looking at it, and then all of a sudden you see those promos, and you're like, yo, yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. But like, but I also feel like, you know, I got through, the tour started in August of last year, and we're getting into April, and I'm like, you know what? We've done, as long as you try to handle it week to week and month to month, like, the heaviest, craziest part of my whole tour is April and May, this upcut, like, where yeah. we're about to go in. And once I get through that, I feel like my summer is super manageable. I have a lot of time off. I'll get through the fall. And I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Yeah. Just sure a thing, full dude. year of touring. You keep I'll be all right. I'll yeah. I mean, you will be all right because you'll be a fucking billionaire. It, but, but. Say, yeah. oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is my agent. My defense. Yeah. Not even in my defense. Go out and make the money. Yeah. What are we doing? This is yeah. an agent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm both these guys' agents. Yeah. So they'll be working a lot more too. <laughs> yeah. But, no, but I mean, they're really. I, I we're we're doing you know a tour is like we do like one show a month. So, uh, but there is I'm starting to understand the idea of like, well, if we do another show and another show, it's like especially yeah. once you've got your act and your routine ready, it's like, well, I could just hang out tonight or I could just fucking make. A surgeon salary, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's, it's an easy decision. For things, that you know? was a hearty <laughs> chuckle. You like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so much, it's money. so much money. <laughs> like you're so rich now, yeah. dude. It's wild. It's it wild. Is and, it is and, wild. And you really have nobody to, you know. There's no Spotify. There's no nobody telling you anything, right? So no, yeah. Just, I mean, you're an independent. You're a problem, man. You're like too rich and independent. <laughs> well, it is like it's a fucking great. Like what I think everybody. I think Barstool actually laid the groundwork for this. Is like if you just do what it is you feel like doing, yep. and an audience comes with you, doesn't matter. You can do what you want, right? Yeah, because as long as you, as long as your fans kind of outweigh the negative or the cancel or whatever, it does. Yeah. there's okay, try. And then like you, you can't win. You respect the fans, and like whatever your product is, you put time and thought yeah. into that. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna go with you, man. We were just talking about uh, Eric Church canceling his show for the Final Four. You see that? No, it's a con uh, country star. He sold out the AT and T Center in San Antonio, but he's from North Carolina. He's like a diehard Tar Heels fan. He's canceling that. He's canceling did not did not go to UNC. Went did, to App went go. to Appalachia State. <laughs> Appalachia State. But but Duke's playing UNC. They've never met. It's the Final Four. Coach K's last game, and he just said, "Fuck it." I'm. He put out. He didn't even lie. He put out a statement and said, "This is the most selfish thing I've ever done in my career." But I'm going to the game, and I think it's fucking awesome. That's pretty badass. Actually. Yeah. I respect I, I, we the were fuck saying, out of that. Yeah, you should I probably reschedule mm -hmm. rather than flat out cancel. But also, it's just like I don't know, man. This is a super important thing to him. The same way you're a fucking diehard fan of him, this is his thing. I don't know. Well, and it's the, truly, here, it's truly once in a lifetime. It, too. That's the point. Like, to literally, make. Like, once it's never. Happened. Not everyone's like people are going to watch that or hear that. People who are fans of his They're and not, not grasp it. what it, they'll be like. It's a game. Like, it's just a game. That is. Yeah. This is. You know, when he's 60, he'll remember. You, you could like retire being a Carolina fan. If you yeah. win this game, yeah. like that's it. You'll never. If you end never, Coach K's career, right. you oh right. literally God. never have it's another nuts. game that Man. will ever get you up like that again. So, I, I went to school in North Carolina, I went to a small school. But it uh, you get infected by yeah. the rivalry, even living in the state, you right. know? And like that. Man, that game is going to be, it will be electric in that fuck arena. Duke, right? In New Orleans, too. That? Like, fuck Duke, though, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, I had to make sure yeah. of that. No, yeah, I was a big, but I'll say this, man. I, I did get a tour of uh, of Cameron at yeah. Duke, and like, man, sick. it was fucking awesome. Like, oh, yeah. the history, the 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 staff there, they were they were cool. And they talked shit, you know, about Carolina during the tour. Like, it's fun. Like, yeah. you know, like, yeah, yeah, and, like yeah. so I'm not. Die hard, die hard. You know, I, yeah, yeah. I enjoy the rivalry. Right. And it's so fun. Like, the guy's giving me the tour. He's like, this one beat the fuck out of the Tar Heels. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, all right. <laughs> He's like talking all this shit. And like, and then I, I you know, like, since I went to school there, I, a lot of my friends are from North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And they, they saw me post about it, and they're like, why the fuck would you go on that tour? I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm in Durham tonight. And they're like, but I can't believe you checked that place out. I'm like, it was yeah, amazing. Man. They're like, it sucks. And like, they wouldn't even admit that I'm like, yeah, it's a we cool do tour. Yeah, he sucks. And they, I mean, they, they are like a sick people. Oh, man. What's, was, what's, uh, what's something you would consider canceling like an arena for? I mean, oh, dude, I don't know if I would do that. I, I, because I've never, I've always been like, if there's something I enjoy, um, just you know, I just look at it like this: you're going to work. Yeah, I don't get yeah, to cancel yeah. work, but like, 
fuck. Like, I guess if is there like a rap, uh, a rap show, you would do it for. No, I, a... if my wife was pregnant again, but it would be a different father because I had a vasectomy. <laughs> so I'd be like, <laughs> you'd be a real good dad if you were. You know, you're showing like, up for that. I'd be like, a real good man. <laughs> whose dad is it? like? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'd be like, why didn't you tell me? Uh, I don't know for a because like, like I said, you know, I'm a big FSU fan and like. I went to that national championship game in 2013, which was a yeah. fucking awesome experience. Yeah. But I don't think I would like cancel shit to, right. to do that. I just well, that's don't why think I, I, would. I mean, the reschedule is the move, right? Yeah. You I would, think so. So I don't know why you wouldn't. <laughs> it's kind of even more badass. He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. That is. You're done. I don't want to play in San Antonio anyway. Fuck I you wish guys. I loved something that much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. I, I can't. I agree. Well, well, the other side of it is all these people being like, I bought plane tickets and hotels and we're flying across the country. And I'm like, what are you doing flying across the country for every church? Yeah. I don't like, somebody asked me, what would you fly across the country and do all that for? And I was like, not a thing. Is there a not a person? Fly across is, that, is that the only show he Yeah, was I don't doing? know. That's a, I mean, he's, he's touring he's in arena, touring. so it's got to be... Told me this Why before. the fuck would you fly to San Antonio? Yeah. Right. There's got to be a better place to right. fly to. <laughs> yeah. Right, he's got If you're already shows. making yeah. a trip out of it, yeah. do LA, Miami, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. San Antonio. People have told me things about like when things have happened and you know something has to get rescheduled, or the, you know they'll be like, I had flights and hotels, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> So that's your like, fucking like, problem. That's man. how this. That's how this works. You, right. you chose to do this too. Right. And then you click like, no on the flight insurance. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. honestly, that's no. your fault. That's your fucking problem, man. <laughs> it's like uh, tonight you're you're gonna be happy or I'm gonna be happy. Yeah, and I'm picking me. Yeah. yeah. So sorry, dude. Do you want me to reschedule it for you individually? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, man. Come yeah. by the hotel. I'll just I'll run through the set for you. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, you get your. Has your birthday come up yet? No, it's in a couple weeks. A couple weeks. So, supposed to, supposed but you know, to, know what you get at this point, right? You know. I mean, not as, like it's I like, thought I knew, and uh, then he's been like coy with it. Yeah, and talking in like you know codes, and I'm like, I, I, so I try not to even think about it. You know, I mean, he's he, the way he's posed it to us is that he's just basically getting a new business for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. He said, "I'm buying Tom a, a present that is a new business for me." <laughs> well, Two Bears Racing. He, you know, like he goes like. He, Bert doesn't know what he's saying a lot, yeah. and, <laughs> but he's yeah, also we it's know like, that's why it's like it's kind of what's endearing and fun about him is like he'll say something that you that you would dismiss as like you're a dreamer you're not you know what I mean yeah, like, yeah. and then sometimes it actually uh, dude I, like when, works when, out when you guys first talked about two bears racing he mentioned barstool and, and I'm telling you that would that's a real thing i think yeah well i'm not saying you're gonna be in fucking yeah. monaco with lewis hamilton or something well, no, no, no. like uh bert's like we absolutely will be <laughs> yeah like he goes he goes you could probably be an f1 driver i was like listen look man i go i don't think he goes no no no. you love to drive you're a good driver f1 i go that's, that's like not like how you're a basketball works. player yeah. you're, you're gonna be on the floor with steph curry dude he goes do you know no. how big that car would have to be <laughs> <laughs> yeah do you think you could fit in an f1 car it would look like the. it would look like the mario kart where the dinosaurs driving <laughs> bowser <laughs> you'd be they, bowser in mario kart <laughs> dude they could, but you could you could get through the bananas real good though <laughs> i wouldn't be able to do turn one like i like i know this like i know this as he, a, i i honestly didn't i, I don't have Great knowledge of racing or F1 or anything like that. But he was like, he's like, yeah, Tom's our driver. That's yeah. what's crazy. <laughs> I do like, believe that. And I just took be... his word for it until right now where you're telling me that that's an impossibility. No, like, I enjoy, like, I've done track days. I enjoy it. I, but, like, we're talking about, like, the best of you know, the best. These you know. are the best drivers. I, go, I was telling sport, Bert, I go, be... these kids were driving kart racing, like, at six and seven. Right. Yeah. Like, they, like, this is their life. They've, right. they've done it. Thousands of races, and he's like, "You can do it." I'm like, "Yeah." Be, those cup, friends, you'll, you'll you'll need be... those friends, but they're so frustrating. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, dude, just meet me in reality for fucking ten seconds, yeah. dude. It's I like he buy you a, a minor league baseball team, and he's like, "You're the pitcher." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have fun. That's what You're I'm saying. good. I, I think you like you, pitching. Yeah, you, you could I've have. Seen, I've seen you throw a ball. <laughs> yeah, you could have two bears racing with a. Uh, guy well, yeah, you I, I talk, like you'll have uh, a, 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 a racing company. Where Matt Farah, the smoking tire, he goes, I have a, he goes, I know this race, like, whatever it's called, a league or something. He goes, it's for amateurs, sure. and it's fun, and, like, doing that, you'll get, like, a kick out of that. And I was like, oh, like, you're the normal. Okay. Yeah, Thanks, Matt. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But <laughs> Bert's like, <laughs> and I'm like, but you mean I mean competing I, I, against like Ferrari and Mercedes? he's like, yeah. Like, <laughs> there will be some guy coming up who's who's a professional level racer 
who's a fan of you guys, yeah, who will would would be willing to work with you as, as like, you know, if if you could race for Mercedes or some shit, no. But if you're like middle level or low level, and it's like I could either do this company or Tom, will do you. I think that that could happen too. And I have I actually have a, a a couple friends that are professional race car drivers, one at a super high level and one like you know like competitive level, and you know they they're both like yeah, dude, this is a black like. Don't think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> <anything."> yeah, <no. laughs> hey, how but, how big do you have to be to like? Could you possibly fit into the car? Like, is yes, it, yes, yeah, I could fit into. <laughs> like, it. like you could fit. Like, I, I yeah. can't get like. Well, how, I don't yeah. know. Like, like, how big? Like, I don't know if they're jockeys. Like, how big is Lewis Hamilton? Yeah. I have well, no idea. Yeah. I could, here's the thing: I could fit in the car. I wouldn't be able to move in the car. You yeah. understand? Yeah. Like it would just be like, like I would we had just to push like, you in. I'd be like this, and they'd be like, "Move your arm," and I'm like, "I can't." Like, that's how it would be. It'd be like that. Like, no, no, yeah. not doing that part. Very snug. Very snug. So you could like a go. latex suit. You, know? you could just go straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can't, can't turn. <laughs> idle, idle speed. You can't even move your feet. Bro doesn't understand like the speeds too. Like I'm like, bro, this guy. Just did this turn at 190, and, and he's like, he's like, do it. Like, <laughs> well, that's because like the first half of his life, he was doing incredibly stupid shit. Yeah, when he was like, yeah, I uh, flew a plane and I jumped off of a mountain and I, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. fought a bear. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's done a goddamn bear. He's yeah. done a bunch of stupid shit that it's like you would have said that was impossible too. Yeah, the guy who who's afraid to fly who flew a fucking plane. What is yeah. that? Yeah, I mean, he's... what kind of idiot does that? You're an idiot, he man. Drank, he drinks you a created lot. a pint. He drinks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> he drinks a lot. <laughs> you think you guys will just do this till you're like dead? Some, people What's always that? ask us like, "What the are podcasting? we podcasting?" Yeah, like because because we really are like the people doing this for the first time. You just radio and there's yeah. something comparable, but what we're doing there really isn't. So I'm like, we started when we were 25. He was like 22, and are we gonna just? Be like sixty five doing like the same ah, shit. The fuck, yeah. I don't know. I haven't thought about it like that. I mean, how would Stern? I mean, yeah, as right. long as there's well, an audience, the, why? Know, and if the money just keeps growing, and someone's like, "We'll give you a hundred million dollars a year," you're like, "Well, again, I could just sit around like with my family, or I could do this for a hundred <laughs> yeah, million. It's pretty know? fun to do, man. It's, I it's mean, pretty fucking easy. Once, I don't once think, you find your groove and shit. Yeah, and you're I think you know. It's like if we do not? it another decade, maybe Bert will let me talk. I think we'll have a good. <laughs> life, <right? laughs> yeah. You got the easiest yeah, world. You dude. sit in front. Of <laughs> and the money just rolls in. I don't even try to anymore. <laughs> People are like, "Like you're not even saying anything. I go, yeah, I've, I've accepted the relationship. <laughs> well, he was telling us a story about when we, one of the episodes you guys did, and, and we're talking about, again, like just not based in reality, where you guys, you guys not shared, but you guys, uh, you both butt plugs. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? What like, do you like mean? You just, like, you, just, you just did it? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, oh, see, you did the podcast with butt plugs in? Well, like I was kind of like it was between my cheeks and uh, you know, was it was it like inserted. Not fully. <laughs> Why not? It break the seal. Are you some sort of pussy? I mean, yeah. I didn't have any loop. So, <laughs> oh, that, well, that that's your uh, that's like yeah. get a nice loogie on it. Come yeah, on. Come we've, on. Uh, <laughs> we've been around the block before where there wasn't any lube around. It was uh it was nice spur of cologne will get it done. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was a nice pulse. Yeah. Uh, like different settings. It oh was, yeah. It's like electrical. <laughs> it was high yeah, level yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what scares me too. It was see. weird to look at him yeah. and like wanna come, you know? Like that was <laughs> One of the craziest feelings. That's a mind fuck. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you're, you're drinking milk and you think you're getting orange juice, you're looking at Bert and like, you want to come. I'm looking at Bert and I'm like, oh. Like, <laughs> like, it was gnarly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, I think, the real question is like, mm. where, forget about how long do you do this, where does it go? Because the ante, even look at the, the birthday gift thing. By year three, you guys are going to be spending a million dollars each on each other. We have to By, slow down. Really you have, have to. to. We have to. You have to be down. the adult in this situation. Put your foot down. Because he I will am, just spend all of the money. I'm going to find has. out what, well, I'll, I'll find out the gift soon, and I'm going to be like, all right. Cap it. Yeah. Maybe even Make sure start, it's after your, yeah. You maybe get the even start going backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I know that, that his wife, like, <laughs> his wife is like, y'all are doing what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we went through the uh, both your wives being not allowing you to fuck Adriana Chechik, which was like that was so lame, fucking <laughs> the lamest. Yeah. I mean, you guys were even gracious enough to offer these alternatives, and they still wouldn't do it. Dude, I I told her I was like, you want to do a blow bang? Go for it. You know? but... <laughs> She's like, no thanks. Bro, offering your wife a blow bang yeah. is, is lewd. 
I was trying to be a fucking cool husband. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but um, yeah, Adriana was so cool. Like she yeah. was, she, I mean, like genuinely, like so fun. And um, she was, you know, did like, you have her on the show or just no, just... no? Uh, we we we'd love to, but she was like, you know, just like she was like cracking jokes to us about it yeah. on, on Twitter and. And she was like, let's step it up. Let's see you guys fucking DP me. Like, <laughs> you see her tweets about her neck? I've seen, I, I think, I read, I, think I, shit ever. I read a, like a, a blurt, like an actual article that she, said yeah, that she, she has like a fractured, permanently damaged C4, C5. And it's from, And she was like, and I know for a fact this is from the pile driver. From pile driver. And she was like, and I'm not going to stop doing it. She's like, it's yeah, my move. How can I stop? Go yeah. shit. Yeah. Right and right then here. I saw some, like, a thing that said, like, fans were like, Please like take care of yourself. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like you've done enough. Yeah, and enough. she's like, I'm not gonna fucking quit. <laughs> that, that, Dude, she she will her, die on she a She had her set. teeth shaved. You know that? Yeah, she's gangster. She's, she had her back teeth shaved so she could fucking deep throat easier. It's amazing. <laughs> like, like, I mean, routine. To the routine dentist, right? Right? You don't even brush yours. <laughs> 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 R- routinely blows her fucking <laughs> her fucking Uber driver. Could you imagine your Uber driver? You pick up Adriana Chechik and you're just like, Whoa. I, it depends on what day it is. Like, yeah. you know, it, it, I hope she's in a good mood. <laughs> it's more, it's more fun to imagine the ones that don't get. Yeah, it. exactly. And they're like, what's wrong with me? I know. Oh, yeah. Does she know I don't brush my teeth every me. night? I would almost. You, you wouldn't I, give one. I, I would I'm love sure to I would. S- I would just be like, wait, you're, are you there? And she's like, I'm yeah. not. <laughs> no, I don't really feel like. I get that a lot, but no, it's not me. Could you? Could you? I, 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 I would I'm love like, to be like, I'm going to let Adrian right blow me. I don't know if I could. <laughs> you think you could just be like, all right, I've dropped you off the destination. Like, come up front and you're going to suck my dick and you'd be ready to rock. Because no. I, full, full honesty, I don't think it's I happening. think, I think Adriana's, at least my estimation is that it's very much how she's feeling. Yeah. And that some people just win that lottery yeah. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you don't get to plan for it. I don't right. think, I don't right. think asking for it works. No. I think you're, it's just like, Things just I don't think you get to say no to it. Storm. I don't. I, I think well, it's, it's. I don't it's, think so either. <laughs> I think it's gonna. If she's in the mood, it's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ha- I had. We told this story a couple of times, but like <laughs> I had it a couple of years ago. I mean, probably ten years ago now, eleven years ago. Christy Mack, who's a porn star. You Fantastic. Might, you might be familiar you with. Yeah. Familiar with her. And, she's uh, a friend. She's a friend of mine. She's a friend. Really? Yeah. 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 So she yeah. sent a tweet again, probably 10, 11 years ago, where it was like, "I'll suck the dick of someone who makes me a Lego toy." And, and, and she and, said she was at, at a bar that night. Like, and she like, happened she to be in Boston. Yeah. And I, I was living in Boston at the time. And then like it was like, like really like stars aligning. There also happened to be at the Boston Museum of Science, maybe, or Kids Museum, whatever, a Lego uh, exhibit. So I went, did some research, found out how to make some great Legos, went to the Lego store in, in Faneuil Hall. You went to the museum? <laughs> yeah, yeah bro, you checked the video. I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking at, like, fucking statues of Legos. <laughs> yeah. And then I go to the Lego store, buy a couple of Lego statue, whatever, toy things, make them for her, drive them to her at, like, the, the event she's hosting at the bar. And the whole time there, I was like, panic. I'm like, what if she sucks my fucking dick? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 what if she agrees to suck my dick? Like, this is going to be... I don't know if I'm gonna get hard. Like I don't know what's gonna that's, happen. That's harder than you think, man. Everyone was like, "Yeah, we fuck her." It's like, would you though? Because that's a fucking. And, and then lot. I presented her the two Legos I'd made, and she said she had to talk to her lawyers first. <laughs> <laughs> that's very endearing, though. Yeah, it really. Is. She was probably like, "Wow, you really fucking did, wow, man." <laughs> yeah, you really did. And she tossed it on behind the table on a stack of Lego toys <laughs> and a line and out line, the door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gotta talk to my lawyer. He's he was first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Thanks, man. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, that was really quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. Uh, okay. Check out the third leg of the I'm Coming Everywhere tour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tom's coming everywhere. Jeff Tate. Uh, Jeff Tate's gonna be where in August here in New York? Where? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Union Hall, August 13th and 14th. There you go. Beauty. Cool. Thanks, man. All right, thanks for watching this episode of KFC Radio. If you like watching it on YouTube, imagine watching it live on stage with us in person. Right now, the KFC Radio live tour is coming to a city near you. We have tickets on sale in Nashville, in Philly, and in Chicago. You can click here or click in the link below and get tickets. Come with your friends. Come alone. We hang out. We have a blast. We get shit-faced, and you can meet us. Two handsome guys. One handsome guy and an okay guy. You be the judge of who that is. It's me. The handsome one. He's the okay one.
comment below. <laughs>